Hey guys, it's Texas. Today I got a couple things to show you guys. Um, starting off with uh, some blanks, um, actually spray painted backgrounds. And then I got some Marilyn Monroe stencils that I'll be showing you, and some characters. Um, and this, so these are my new characters, but we'll set those aside. So, anyways, we'll start out with these. I spray painted these about two hours ago, so they might be a little bit sticky, but um, that's okay. They'll be fine. But um, anyways, what I'm doing with the characters is I made a vector design of it on um, a pr uh, program called Inkscape. And what it does is pretty much like Photoshop, except for you can make vector designs out of it. I don't know if you can do that in Photoshop or not, but um, anyways, I really like it. It's free instead of paying for Photoshop. But I also have Photoshop. I haven't used it as much. I was familiar with it, but if you guys actually think it's better, just let me know. But anyways, I made um, my character in the program, and so I can now print it on any sort of sticker. So as you'll see kind of for here, this is on just the regular, it's like half page sticker for the priority mail. I printed about 12 on each one. You can just cut them out. And um, I noticed that the paper doesn't take the ink as well as normal paper, so it's a little bit faded, but it still works pretty good. I prefer hand drawns though, but I mean for different variations of my character that I have to use a computer for, um, it'll work good. So I'm pretty excited about that. And for these blanks, I used about four different colors. You won't be able to tell on all of them, but I used pink, purple, green. Um, uh, lighter pink and I think that's about it but yeah I like how they turned out it'll be pretty awesome because I got a bunch of them uh, do characters and throwaways and tags on just like normal priority mail stickers but it's a little bit more customizable but um I think that's good for showing you guys I just got a ton of these as you can tell they're all just pretty much different but I got about 40 of them 40 to 50. Um, now to the Marilyn Monroe stencils. I got, here's some just blank black ones. Um, get these out of the way. Uh, Alright, here they go. So, if you can tell, it's Marilyn Monroe. Um, I got some pink on white, pink on black, black on white. But yeah, the, I think that the pink on blacks are harder to tell what it is, but they still look pretty cool. Um, see so if you can tell Marilyn Monroe. It's kind of a side view of her. This one didn't turn out good, but you know, whatever. Oh, and then just here's a tag. If you guys are interested how I came up with that other character, this is exactly how. It was just, I was trying to draw my other character. Screwed up the eyes, just scribbled it out, and just stabbed it with my deco color, and it just bled all the way down. And I was like, um, that looks actually pretty interesting if I could change it up. And I did, and that's what it looks like now. But, um, yeah, tell me if you thought it's kind of a clever thing to do. Because, um, not all mistakes are mistakes. But, anyways, uh, moving on to the characters. Uh,. Here's what they look like, and again, I made a vector design and printed some of these, but most of them are hand drawings. And if you can tell, they have different variations. For example, this one's got an X in the middle. The eyes are changed up. I can also change up the top of the head, uh, what's in the mouth. But um, yeah, the small ones are printed. The these size ones are hand drawn. But, yeah, here's one, the background, I really like this one right here. It's got a big blue splatter in the middle, and then, then two more printed ones. But, yeah, so that's it for my characters, Marilyn Monroe, and, um, yeah, I made a stencil on a sweatshirt and a t-shirt. Um, I'll go grab the sweatshirt in a second. Alright, here it is. Sorry for that little wait. But, 
Um, I think it turned out pretty cool. Let's see, can you guys see that? There we go. But yeah, tell me if you guys like it. Just on a regular white sweatshirt. Um, I don't know, I've been really into Marilyn Monroe lately and decided to put on a sweatshirt. So, yeah, and I also did it on a couple t-shirts. So I thought that was pretty cool. But, um, yeah, tell me if you guys like my work. The Marilyn Monroe stuff, if you want, to, want me to keep doing stenciling. But, yeah, I think that's about it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.